kind of drip, 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 drip. That is one thing. It rains a lot in Bristol. It does rain a lot in Bristol. I don't know, I can't like it. I feel like if I'm well prepared, which I'm not today, but like if I've got an umbrella. Got Who's got an umbrella? Yeah, right. So my friend. Do you have an umbrella? I have multiple umbrellas. Fucking hell. Do you uh, not own an umbrella? No, I don't own an umbrella. Do you guys own an umbrella? No. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> this, is a, rain, this is a you thing. What if it starts to rain? My thoughts on the harbour side is purely that I'm very happy it's here. I, I feel strange if I'm away from bodies of water for a long time. I, I need to be near like a lake, the ocean, a river, something, or else I just start to feel very enclosed. It makes you feel peaceful, you know? It's like, and I feel like, and in Bristol, there's so much that's clustered around the river. There's so much going on. Like if you go down to Harbourside, you've got the watershed, you've got V-shed, lots of things called shed. <laughs> I think Bristol needs more sheds. We need more sheds. I like the fact there's still a little bit of wild left as well. Do you know what I mean? In Bristol, there, there, there is there's lots of little tucked away bits, but some places there really isn't. That's one of the things I like about the city. Do you know what I mean? There's lots of little, there's lots of green, there's water. It's like a place that things can live in. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I was just, I was just wondering what the flowers are for that are tucked into that fence around the tree. Because I feel like in London, flowers tucked into fence posts always mean someone's just died. Do you know what I mean? It's either a car crash or someone's been stabbed and like... I was, I was thinking, yeah, it looks really cool, but also feels kind of morbid to me just because of that's the experience I've encountered. Yeah, that's a symbol that means that points to death for me. And I don't know if that's just because of the city that I'm coming from or if that's like a universal thing. I don't... It was one of the things that I really liked about Bristol because it just feels lighter. Yeah. Especially, especially in like dark months, it just feels lighter with yeah. all of the light stone around. Yeah. And that's, I guess, just because of the stone that's around that's in London, locally. Like... Yeah, all, all, all I can see is uh, <laughs> the giant phallus that is Wolves Memorial Building. I know this area, it's... Um... It's a very down, I mean, Temple Mead itself a bit hectic, but I mean, it's the first place I ever came in Bristol, you know, I got off the train from Swindon here and, you know, straight away the city clicked, you know, captivated. First time in Bristol when I was a bit younger, like about four years ago. Didn't live here straight away, but I was, I was visiting to her with some music stuff I was doing and like, um, like, yeah, straight away coming out from this station, you know, walking around Bristol for two hours lost. Was, was a really enjoyable experience. Yeah. I'm just walking around, looking, first I walked that way and was like, yeah, okay, Bristol, saw the big buildings. I was, I was raised on a boat, so I was yeah. raised in the middle of absolutely nowhere, eight miles from any shop on a canal boat in the sticks. South Eastern, there's a big presence of the people that live there. They know that is Bristol, you know? Yeah. And that's where, you know, they live. And this is where I live. Excellent. Sorry about the mess. No, don't apologise, that's absolutely fine. Are we right to come in? Yeah, 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 yeah. Is it ready for us? Yeah, man, this is my humble abode. Yeah, this no, it's fantastic. Yeah. This is where it all happens. Yeah. Yeah, man, and like, so this is, I don't know, this is the trail I've had for like a year now. And just, yeah, a lot more work to do on it still. That's but great. they're projects that never, ever finish. What have you seen that you might, like, you didn't see in other parts of Bristol? Or, or um, is there anything that, like, strikes you? Peace and quiet. Yeah. Really, really, the peace of Totterdown is like everyone's so chill. There's, there's not really any issues in this the community, like on a level of what you know you're getting Stoke, St Pauls. Yeah. It's, it's just very out the way, just yeah. relaxing and chill. And really, that is the. This is why I love this place out of all of Bristol. Yeah. This place is because I do get that. <sighs> you know, coming home. You know, I'll be running around whatever I'm doing in the day, I'll come back to this site and there's, you know, there's a smile on my face, I've got everyone and stuff, and it's yeah. like... The beautiful thing about this lifestyle is money isn't essential. Yeah. It's, it's helpful, very, and you know, it's one of... It is a necessity in terms that you do have to have a little bit, 
But the amount of money you need, it's like me, I, I've lived off busking for the last year, Harborside, which we'll, we'll, we'll go there in a bit. And like every day for a year, I've gone down Harborside with a guitar and sat down and lived off that. You know, yeah. sometimes harder than other certain points of the year. You know, winter it goes down a bit, but summer you live you live well. And like living in this, I don't need anymore. Yeah, yeah. yeah. this is the place we've lived off for the last year and a half. So uh, literally all the food, the tobacco, the um, yeah, everything, everything from this here. This is where we make our money. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. Well, it's got a lot of tourists, the clubs, and the alcohol helps the busking. The more yes. drunk. People are, it seems, the more inclined they are to give to buskers. From Monday to Thursday, this place is very gentle. You can come here, just look over the water, you know, it's peaceful, relaxing. On a, a Friday and a Saturday, and sometimes Sunday, but mostly Friday, Saturday, this place is bonkers, man. We'll be sitting down here, you know, me and Andreas in our nice little bubble, and you'll have the most crazy drunk people mm -hmm. running by. It's just hectic. It's Some crazy. of them strip naked and then dance around. <laughs> Literally, we've had, yeah. We've had, yeah. We've had people it just happens. sit beside us on some nights and just be like, take me home. And I'd be like, well, I can't, I can't really just take you home, you know, like, but like, it's, it's good fun down here. You meet, you meet a lot of different characters. Instant, I will creep up to that green and gin. My extended family kept me strong when I just needed it. So I'll be there for them when it be freezing in the demons pit. But that's life, lost in your fabric. Saying to the birds in the tree. Like, I, I think I do like prefer small cities. I've been in every single area in Bristol. Like, well, there's a lot of areas in Bristol, I'd be surprised. No, like, literally, like, I've taken a two hour bus ride. I just thought like it might be nice. Like I, do, I don't believe in like staying in like the student bubble, which is like basically the triangle. Like I think the triangle is kind of boring. I agree. <laughs> I feel like there's no culture to it other than student culture, which is like replicated in every single city in the UK. I actually prefer the UK self architecture. I don't know. I had an argument with my mom actually because um, I told her that I, you know, like think that UK buildings are much more intricate much nicer, um, just because Malaysian architecture, we keep it very simple so that we can let air in, because yeah. it's like quite humid and like warm. Um, and then my mom like told me that I'm like westernized now because I like Western architecture, like, okay. Um, but yeah, I, I just, I do like sort of like more intricate, like classical architecture. I don't like office buildings like that. <laughs> like that's ugly, but. <laughs> But I, I do like churches and stuff. I actually snuck into this building at night. I don't know if I should say that, that's trespassing. I definitely prefer Bristol to like Kuala Lumpur. Like just because I, I think I just do prefer like smaller cities. Like people just seem friendlier to an extent. Um, and I do think most of my problems with Bristol have been because of the student bubble. Like students are just fucking annoying. <laughs> like. No, students don't care about the, the culture of the city. Like I remember going to St. Paul's Festival, like, you know, just like wanting to enjoy like, St. Paul's culture. And most students just go there to like get on drugs, like, you know. Thank you very much. I don't know. And that's a wrap. <laughs>